Listen to me, it's complicated, so hang tight, but I'll get the money. Elmo, the dame is setting you up. Bet you gotta trust me. You know what it's like out here. All right, all right, I'm just glad you're alive. I plan to keep it that way. Anything comes up meantime, send the kid. This may take a while. Just get back, man. Don't get in over your head. I was born in over my head. Out. 1523. I'll give it to you as soon as I get out. My head was bursting with questions about the dame, the guns, the mayor, the crates filled with gold. But pizza men aren't supposed to ask those questions. We aren't supposed to get involved, especially with a smoking lady who's burning down to the butt. Maybe it was the full moon. Maybe the smell of Virginia Slims mixed with Chanel Number no. 5. Maybe the fact that I'd almost been killed three times on one delivery. Whatever it was, I started asking those questions pizza men don't ask. It all makes sense. What? All of it. The hoods, the crates of gold, Mayor Bradley, and a dame tied up in her underwear. Junk bonds. You mean those hoods were bond traders? Maybe. Oh, and the mayor had city funds tied up in a secret high-yield trust. Federal funds to finance Metrorail, but the bonds went belly up on a failed takeover of a car rental company. So to save himself from political embarrassment and to save Metrorail, the mayor smuggles gold from Brazil. Trading city bulldozers, Brazil needs to tear down the rainforest. And what are you, one of the bond trader's mistresses? I was blackmailing him. I threatened to go to the L.A. Times. Very neat, very clean, except for one thing. What? The pizza. How does the pizza fit in? They were hungry. Four bond traders? Why didn't they order a large? An extra large serves six. The mayor wanted some. I don't buy that. The mayor dines with real estate developers. Why would he be eating pizza at this hour? And how could five people agree on sausage and anchovies? Maybe pepperoni, maybe half with anchovies, half without. Some wanted anchovies, some didn't, but they figured it'd just be easier to pick them all. What do you think I was born yesterday? Nobody picks off anchovies. They crumble in your fingers, and the taste is so strong it blends with the cheese. Now you level with me, lady, or you're walking home. You're right. I lied. I ordered the pizza. They told me to get pepperoni, but I was so upset I, I wanted to hurt them. So I ordered sausage and anchovies. Don't you understand? I didn't know what I was doing. I, I hated them so much. But now I realize I'm responsible for the pizza. And I'll pay you for it the minute I get home. How did you order a pizza with a gag in your mouth? Well, that was before the gag. After I ordered it, they got so upset they were on the extension. They, well, they hit me, they beat me, they, they tied me up and they gagged me. Why didn't you tell me that before? Afraid. I didn't have any money on me, and I, I was afraid that, that you'd hate me. Oh, Elmo, don't you believe me? Well, if you don't believe me, I... How do you know my name? Mayor Bradley said it, then I heard it again on the radio. All right. <clears throat> I believe you. Then I'll get you home. Yeah, I believe her. Just like I believe traffic jams can be solved by carpooling. Or that oil drilling off Big Sur won't hurt the environment. I didn't have any choice but to go along with her. She was the only link to whoever it was who really ordered the pizza and my only chance to get the 1523. 